Good morning, grade 8 students, and welcome back to a new lesson in Module 4. The title of today's lesson is going to be 4D, Vocabulary plus Lesson 1. So kindly open your student book page 52 and follow your teacher closely. In this lesson, we are going to cover four main objectives. So, by the end of this lesson, students will be able to 1 predict the meanings of 12 targeted vocabulary through looking at pictures and discussing activities related to camping accurately. Two, consolidate the use of 12 targeted vocabulary related to camping in various activities properly. Three, respond to various questions after listening to four dialogues related to a camping trip correctly. Four, Write a short paragraph about a camping trip using good writing mechanisms. Let's start our lesson by discussing this question. What are some of the popular outdoor activities Qatari people are interested in? Well, to answer this question, I would like you to look at the following pictures and tell me what they stand for or represent. What does this picture represent, my students? Good job. Falconry. It is the sport of hunting small animals and birds using falcons. What about this picture? Good job. Camel racing. It is the sport of using camels for racing. What about this picture, my students? Well done. Horse racing. It is the sport of using horses for racing. Finally, we have this picture. What does it stand for? Good job. Camping. It is the act of making and living in a tent, etc., especially on holiday. Open your student book page 52 vocabulary. Look at the 12 items in this picture, then discuss the following questions. 1. Do you like camping? Why or why not? Well done, my students. Here are some suggested answers. Yes, I like camping because I enjoy being close to nature. Or no, I don't like camping because I don't like sleeping in a tent. 2. Have you ever been on a camping trip? Good. Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. 3. Which of the following items in the picture do you think are important to have when you go on a camping trip? Good job. Well, we need a lot of things such as a tent, torch, rope, backpack, etc. As you can see, my dear students, below are some of the items we may need for a camping trip. So let's learn their meanings together. Let's start with the first item, which is called first aid kit. It is a box or bag containing basic medical equipment, such as bandages and antiseptic cream that can be used before the person is taken to the hospital. Also, we have sleeping bag. It is a thick worm bag that you use for sleeping in, for example, when you are camping. Also, we have tent. It is a shelter made of a thick material such as nylon. It is used for camping. Also, we have backpack. It is a bag that you carry on your back made of strong material and often used by people who go climbing or walking. Then we have compass. It is a device used for finding directions. Then we have torch. It is a small electric lamp that you can hold in your hand and carry with you. Then we have matches. They are small sticks made of wood that are used for lighting a fire, etc. 
Then we have sunscreen. It is a cream or liquid that you put in your skin to protect it from the sun. Also we have whistle. It is a small metal or plastic tube that you blow to make a loud high sound. Then we have rope. It is a piece of a strong thick string made of long twisted threads. Then we have insect repellent. It is a substance such as a spray used to fight insects. Finally, we have fishing gear. It is a long wooden or plastic stick used for fishing. Now it's time to practice my dear students. So kindly move to exercise A, page 52 student book. A, look and write the correct number next to each word. Then check your answers with your teacher. Well, it's time to check your answers. So let's start. First aid kit. It's picture 12. Sleeping bag. It's picture 5. Tent. It's picture 1. Backpack. It's picture 2. Compass. It's picture 11. Torch. It's picture 9. Matches. Just as in picture 10. Sunscreen. It's picture 6. Vessel. It's picture 8. Rope. It's picture 4. Insect repellent. It's picture 3. Fishing gear. It's picture 7. We have another vocabulary practice, so kindly open your workbook page 56 and do exercise A. Look at the pictures and complete the crest word. Then check your answers with your teacher. Well, it's time to check your answers. 1. Matches. 2. Compass. 3. Sunscreen. 4. Rope. 5. Tent. 6. Backpack. 7. Whistle. 8. Torch. Let's practice more. Complete the sentences below with the given words or phrases in the box. Then check your answers with your teacher. Well, it's time to check your answers, my students. 1. Drivers should have a first aid kit in their cars. 2. It was dark, but we were lucky to take the torch with us. 3. We were lost, but we could use the compass to find the right direction. 4. You should put some sunscreen on your skin to protect it from the sun. 5. He was wearing a heavy backpack. 6. I slept in a very comfortable sleeping bag while camping. Now, let's move to the listening part. For D, to listen 1, student book page 52. You're going to listen to four short dialogues and answer the questions below. Remember that each question is based on each dialogue. So, you need to read the questions carefully, then listen to the four short dialogues carefully as well. Once you're done, you can check your answers with your teacher. Are you ready for listening? Let's get to listen now. 1. It's such a beautiful day that I don't want to stay indoors. Let's go hiking up the mountain. Great idea. I can come and pick you up at 11. So soon? That's half an hour from now. How about at half past 11? No problem. 2.
Ah, another mosquito. Give me the insect repellent. Here. I didn't ask for sunscreen. It's so dark that I can't see a thing. Anyway, there's nothing else in the backpack. I guess we didn't bring any. I've heard that fire keeps insects away. Here are the matches. You get some wood. Three. Do you know where the torch is, George? I can't find it in the car. Well, then it's probably in my backpack. I checked there before I went to the car. Oh, now I remember. I needed it last night, so it's probably next to my sleeping bag in the tent. Four. Rock climbing looked like fun, but it was so hot that we decided to spend our last day at the lake. Did you go canoeing or did you go fishing? Well, we did both of those on our first day, so we decided to go swimming instead. Now check your answers. 1. What time are they meeting? Excellent. D. Half past 11. As you can see, speaker A said, how about half past 11? Then speaker B said, no problem. 2. What do they not have with them? D. Excellent. Insect repellent. As you can see, speaker A said, give me the insect repellent. Speaker B said, anyway, there is nothing else in the backpack. I guess we didn't bring any. Three, where did the man look for the torch first? Well done, in the backpack. Why? As you can see, speaker B said, well, then it's probably in my backpack. Then speaker A said, I checked there before I went to the car. Four, what did the boy not do during his trip? Excellent, C, rock climbing. As you can see, speaker A said, rock climbing looked like fun, but it was so hot that we decided to spend our last day at the lake. Let's practice more. You're going to listen to the same dialogues again then decide whether the following statements are true or false. Once you have done, you can check your answers with your teacher. Ready to listen? Go ahead. 1. It's such a beautiful day that I don't want to stay indoors. Let's go hiking up the mountain. Great idea. I can come and pick you up at 11. So soon? That's half an hour from now. How about at half past 11? No problem. Two. Ah, another mosquito. Give me the insect repellent. Here. I didn't ask for sunscreen. It's so dark that I can't see a thing. Anyway, there's nothing else in the backpack. I guess we didn't bring any. I've heard that fire keeps insects away. Here are the matches. You get some wood. Three. Do you know where the torch is, George? I can't find it in the car. Well, then it's probably in my backpack. I checked there before I went to the car. Oh, now I remember. I needed it last night, so it's probably next to my sleeping bag in the tent. Four. Rock climbing looked like fun, but it was so hot that we decided to spend our last day at the lake. Did you go canoeing or did you go fishing? Well, we did both of those on our first day, so we decided to go swimming instead. Now check your answers. 1. According to Dialogue 1, the first speaker suggested to go camping. False. Because he suggested to go hiking up the mountain. 2. According to Dialogue 2, fire can keep insects away. True. 3. According to Dialogue 3, George may have left the torch next to the sleeping bag in the tent. 2. 4. 
according to the first speaker in dialogue 4, they decided to spend their last day by the river. False. They decided to spend their last day at the lake. Now, I am pretty sure that you can use the following prompts to write a short paragraph about a camping trip you are planning for. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. See you soon.